Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issue number 47 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and we're going to be making another one of the Whirlwind Squares. To make this Whirlwind Square you'll receive the Meadow Spot, Grey, Vintage Floral and the Coral Spot. I haven't been a fan of the Coral Spot so I'm going to substitute it for my Peter Rabbit licensed fabric. I'm also going to substitute this vintage floral. We don't want to use the vintage floral. I'm going to be using my acorn fabric. You'll also need template H, template F and template C. I've accessed these templates from my template box because we have used them before but if you don't have them they are on your template section of the magazine just photocopy them onto light card and cut them out. It's time to get cracking and to cut out our patches. I'm going to start cutting out the meadow spot fabric first and we're using the C template. We're going to need four of these so I'm going to fold my fabric in half and cut out two. So I've cut out our C template pieces in the meadow spot. I've also cut out the H template pieces using the licensed fabric. This was a bit fiddlier and I did it before I started videoing because I wanted to line up Peter Rabbit in the middle. I'm now going to cut out the other H fabric pieces. And lastly, we're going to be cutting out our light grey fabric. We're using the F template and we're going to need four of these pieces. I'm going to fold the fabric in half and cut out two. But be careful, it's a very small piece of fabric and doesn't allow for mistakes. So all of our cutting is now complete. I'm going to lay out the whirlwind square in front of me. It's now time to set up the machine and start our stitching. So I've set up my machine, towel for ironing and iron, and I'm ready to go. If you look at the whirlwind square, you can see that it's divided into quarters. Each of the quarters is made up of two large triangles. There's the meadow spot large triangle, and there's this template and this template, which we're going to sew together first to make another large triangle. I'm going to do it with this quarter, this quarter, this quarter and this quarter. I'm going to sew the larger triangles together now and give them a good press.
our quarters are now made up of two large triangles. I'm going to stitch these two large triangles together, leaving four squares. So we've got our four quarters of our whirlwind square. I'm going to stitch these two together first and then these two together creating two halves. I'm then going to stitch the halves together. We've got one half, now for the other side. Now that we've got our two halves to our whirlwind square, I'm going to sew the whole thing together. So here we have our completed whirlwind square. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's not as vibrant as the one in the magazine, um, but it links in beautifully with the fabrics I've used in the other patches. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had success making your whirlwind square. Please don't forget to like and subscribe please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. I look forward to seeing you next time when we start making our Benjamin Bunny and Flopsy applique square. Until next time, bye!